We are in operating room 11 at the Jacobs Medical Center at UC San Diego Health. I'm Dr. Alex Kolesi, the Chairman of Neurosurgery at UC San Diego, and I'm delighted to welcome the AANS to San Diego. San Diego has long been known as a destination for transformative foundational research institutes and destination biotechnology. This room is part of our commitment, however, to providing cutting edge clinical care, training the next generation of surgeons, and changing the way surgery is done. It's really important for us to understand where we came from. And the voices you're going to hear on this video are gonna share that journey. From 1970, uh, when I arrived to 1993, when we opened Thornton, the only facility we really had was the Hillcrest Hospital. And for neurosurgery, at the beginning, that was mostly ER patients, drunks, patients with head injuries, people found on the streets by the, by the police. We were the only academic group in town and Dr. Oxen was a tremendous mentor. I call him my father. And nobody could find a better mentor in his junior career as Dr. Oxen. And he nurtured me and helped me develop my clinical skills. He was very supportive. So at that time, a few of us came together and decided to establish a new training program in San Diego. A lot of them now become senior neurosurgeons in town. And they all have been coming back and supporting us. So from a tiny nucleus, we've been able to generate, I hate to say, use the word school of neurosurgery that has derived from people who are very forward looking. To start out as a, the first resident at UCSD, it was a, a really exciting opportunity. As soon as I got here, they explained to me that I was gonna get to do all the cases. Um, it was a, a family event, basically, because uh, Dr. Oxney always tried to make it very friendly. And my family had known his family for a long time. And that's something that I'm glad to see has really continued on here at UCSD. We had a nice little hospital that gradually, at Hillcrest, that gradually grew into a trauma center. We now have a great medical center, starting with the Thornton up here, and now the Jacobs Medical Center, and all the research buildings around us right now. When it started out, it was um, a very close, tight group of uh, residents working together. And that's something that I think has continued. We've proceeded from Dr. Oxney to Dr. Marshall and now to Dr. Klesi, which is great to have this fantastic energy here, uh, innovation and drive to forward the science of neurosurgery at UCSD. Dr. John Oxney was our founding division chief. When he came to UC San Diego in 1971, neurosurgery was really in its infancy. And John was the prototypical neurosurgeon in the sense that he dove deeply into the pathophysiology of neurologic disease, material science and developing new tools in order to do the work that he needed. At the time, obviously, clip ligation was the way aneurysms were treated, and John was among the very first to contemplate an intravascular solution. John was succeeded as division chief by Dr. Larry Marshall, who has been cited over 23,000 times as a world's leader in neurotrauma. He developed the Marshall classification for CT, and at a time when health services research was really not a well-developed field, was the person who really felt that we could learn important clinical lessons from big data. Eight years prior to my recruitment as chair, Dr. Bob Carter came from the Massachusetts General Hospital, and his visionary leadership led to our transition from a division to a department of neurosurgery. Dr. Carter brought a, a real perspective of, of modern subspecialty neurosurgery that's key in, in a modern department today. He built interdisciplinary teams in neuro-oncology, peripheral nerves, cerebrovascular, and epilepsy. One of the great privileges of my career at the University of California, San Diego, was the opportunity to recruit and work with an incredibly talented and diverse set of residents and faculty, and to see this group emerge as leaders in our medical school our community of San Diego, and in national neurosurgery. Yeah, actually, San Diego is, is quite a, a real, I would call it a hotbed for spine surgery. It's sort of like you could call it the Silicon Valley of spine surgery, maybe, especially for minimally invasive. And that has to do with the biotechnology group that is up here. It has to do with people up on the Mesa, and it has to do with the university. Uh, so as a as fact, we 
We're really the pioneers of a couple different types of surgery. Number one, the first people really to do a lateral, uh, minimally invasive, um, lateral lumbar inner body fusion. And then past that though, we've been involved in everything from endoscopic uh, to uh, minimally invasive T-lifts and really have been on the forefront of that. I think because there's such a wealth of uh, knowledge and expertise in this on this mesa here in the Torrey Pines La Jolla area uh, there are no barriers yeah it's not uh, it is not quite true but I feel like you can throw a rock from here and hit seven places to collaborate with not only in medicine but also in uh, healthcare science and biotechnology uh, and it doesn't mean an hour and a half in the car I think the most important thing is to improve residency training to get them excited not just about what we can do today but what would she be able to do tomorrow. I'm really excited about the future here because I think the collaboration with the other uh, research groups in, on the Mesa, the Salk Institute, uh, even with the Scripps is really coming on strong. We have a brand new operating room with all the newest uh, facilities with the Emirates machine. We have a, a lot of uh, input with more resources from, from uh, biotech and from industry. UCSD is unique in that maybe people are laid back, you know, they play hard, they want to be servers, but they also want to clone genes and make tremendous contributions. Our ability to do minimally invasive surgery in the spine in different areas has changed. So in other words, now we're doing deformity and we're doing corrections that we never thought we'd be able to do, you know, even a few years ago. From a technical standpoint, it's extremely challenging and very satisfying to be able to achieve results that benefit patients and their families. The incredibly rich and unique research environment at UC San Diego has allowed me to become a clinical trial expert in stem cells and neuroregeneration. Based on over 10 years of lab work and animal studies, we completed a first in human clinical trial transplanting stem cells into the spinal cords of patients with chronic spinal cord injury. The results were published in Cell Stem Cell and clearly demonstrated the safety and feasibility of our novel approach. One of the real privileges of neurosurgery for me has always been being part of a small guild-like community. And I'm delighted uh, to host the Double ANS because it's here that we're going to make a difference for our patients and for the surgeons to come. This is a hub. And this is a place where, where the medicine and the neurosurgery don't get lost. 